Hello everyone, welcome back to this tutorial on Snowflake. In this tutorial, we are going to create a stage. This stage is used to onboard the data in Snowflake. So in earlier tutorial, we saw how to create a database and the table. So in this tutorial, we are going to focus on creating an external stage. So let's start. Before going to see how to create a stage, let's understand what data we are going to bring in Snowflake. The data which we are going to bring is, we are, is nothing but the city bike data. In order to get uh, this CVS file version of this data, you can go to their website. This website is nothing but the citybikenyc.com and then you can use this system data. So here you see the what kind of data this particular website contains. So it contains the trip duration, start time, end time, etc. And you can download in the form of a zip file. So you can click on this link and it will download as a zip file. And that zip file contains .csv file. This file contains data as I mentioned the trip duration, it's an integer, then the start time, stop time then the station ID as well as the address from which it's, that trip start started, the geographic location like geocodings, then we have the end station name and the other attribute such as the latitude and longitude of the end station and whether the user is subscribed or non-subscribe and the date of birth of that user and gender. So this is the information captured by city bike data in data set so once we have this data we cannot load directly this cvs file in snowflake we have to use the the s3 bucket provided by the cloud provider for example aws or google cloud platform etc so how can we use that google or the aws platform to get this file loaded for that we, we, we need to go to the, our Snowflake instance and in the Snowflake instance, we can go to our database. In our case, the database is nothing but the city bike. Click on that and from there, we can go to the stages platform. Let's click on the stages. So here we need to add the stage from which S3 bucket we are going to use the data. So this data is already loaded in AWS bucket, AWS S3 bucket. So we have to make that connection to that AWS S3 bucket. In order to create that connection, click on this create button and it will show us which S3 bucket you would like to connect to or you would like to connect to the, the Amazon S3 bucket or Microsoft Azure location or Google Cloud Platform location. So let's use the S3 bucket from Amazon because we Here's the, the city bike data already loaded by Snowflake for demo purpose. So once you select that, click on the next. Then you have to provide the name of this S3 bucket or name of this stage. So I will mention city bike trips. The schema name is public. Then you can provide the URL of S3 bucket. In our case, we are going to use Amazon Web Service S3 bucket, which is available for the demo purpose. And the URL will look like this, S3 Snowflake Workshop Lab City Bike Trips. In your real-time project, you need to provide the AWS keys. You need to provide the secret key as well as the encryption master key. So that will be available once you have the licensed version of the Snowflake. So as, once you provide the name, schema name and URL, you can click on the finish button and this will create the stage for us. So by using this stage, we can load the data into the snowflake. So stage is ready, stage connection is ready, I would say. Now how can we see whether what information this stage contains? For that, there is a command we, we can execute and verify what this particular stage contains. For that purpose, we'll go to the worksheet. In order to verify, we need to use command called list. All these commands are present at a Snowflake website, so which provide the name of command and its a usage. So after list command, you have to use add symbol and provide the stage name. 
and you can use the control enter to see what this particular stage contains say this stage contains the name also it consider what is the size also the md5 and when was the last modified so all these details tells us that the s3 bucket is ready to use through this stage connection so this is about how to create a stage and using this stage we are going to see how to load the data in our upcoming tutorial so thank you for watching this video if you have any questions or queries you can definitely mention in the comment section of this video also kindly subscribe this channel for more interesting updates about this snowflake apart from that uh, i just would like to remind you oh guys so i have already created a dedicated section on my website so you can visit that section to get the consolidated list of all the commands which will be used throughout this video tutorials thank you again and have a wonderful time